Gang, gang, and we back with another video. This your boy Silk Living, and I'm back with another gun attachment. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hope everybody's good and safe. So let's get it in. All right, so I got uh, all my pistols laid out today. We got the G3C Toro, PT111 or G2, and we also have my first one, the P11. G2. All right. So um, this is what's going on. So I've been seeing everybody doing um, these extensions for those who don't want to get um, the 32 round, uh, the stick I call it, or you may call it an extendo. So a lot of people were buying the G3 um, magazines because you know with the G3 right here full size it's subcompact but with the full size you just you get the 15 and the 17 round magazine but Galloway Precision has these little back plates that you can install and turn your 17 into a 20 round you know plus three and the same thing with the 15 see if I can get that to focus 15 plus three right now I fill these up um it, they do work they take them it's pretty pretty easy install they give you like an allen wrench but make sure when you order it you ask for the allen wrench for at least one of them the allen wrench does work on both of them and it's a quick really unscrew you slide the uh, the back plates of these off then you slide off it's kind of what they look like when you slide them off you know different ones and then you just insert this one and then you just make sure you put the Allen key down to finish the top of it and tighten the new base plate down and then the basically just extends the spring so you can go further down to add that plus three feel um, a lot of people in the comments were saying they was having problems with that but really all you got to do is work that spring in so what I did was I took mines out and I worked the spring in before I did the install so it made it easier for me to install all 20 rounds all 20 uh, bullets um, that's pretty much it um, what I will say is this after doing this I wasn't too sure about carrying this my first thing my first idea was you know what I'm going to carry my 15 and my 17 round um, for my G3C but I felt like once I stuck it in there and I saw how it looked, I said, yeah, it's cool. But with my new um, my new little holster that I'm rocking, the naked holster, make sure y'all watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. I wasn't really feeling how it how it felt against my skin. Um, it just wasn't doing it for me now. It does have a little bit of a wiggle to it, but once you fill it up all the way, that little rattle, that little wiggle, it tightens up, it stiffens up. I wasn't receiving that situation, you know, with this one. Remember I was showing y'all the 17 round and it wasn't clicking all the way? Remember I was like, oh, it's not going all the way in? It's because I was having an issue with one of these. Maybe the print was off or something like that. So I'm no longer rocking these no more. Um, I don't know if I'm even to install these back on, but now that I got these, I got these extendo. Well, I've extended them with the base plate. I'm just not gonna install them no more. I was just, I was just having issues with them. So you know, it could have been a bad print or whatever. But for my G3, um, which is the G3 Toro, they wasn't working. So when I put them in there, boom, they just. I was having some issues, but now that I took them out. I don't have no problem. See? Good to go. I don't know how I like to look. So, I'm, I, in my opinion, I'm probably still going to stay. I'm not going to rack it, but this is what I, I keep in here. You know, I'm just going to rock it like that. My G3, it's going to be my everyday. Um, the reason why you see these little pins sticking out 
is because I'm doing a current build with this. I am changing the trigger, just dropping a hint. I'm not going to say which trigger I'm getting. Um, it could be another one like this. It could be something different, so make sure y'all stay tuned to that. So you'll notice that this one is already missing. This one's missing, and I just got this one sitting here. Well, actually, they're both still sitting here, but this one's already gone out. I just haven't took them all the way out. But I am working on this build. I am changing a lot with this. This is my main every day, and I told you guys we're going to do something fun with that. Um, we know that this one uh, is going back into my uh, MCK. That's what this came out of. Um, you can, by the way, you can use your threaded barrel inside. You have enough clearance. It fits. You don't have to move that little front piece up. Just a little side note for that. So like I said, um, I still haven't took these sights off yet, but like I just got this out for the build, just for the video for the day. You know, um, so that's what that's that's going on with that. I've decided for this. Um, I'm probably going to leave them in here like this. Let me let me show you. So I'm probably just going to rock it like that. And I'm just going to leave these in here. I was going to put these in the MCK. I was going to use these as my daily drivers. I decided not to. I'm just going to use the stock 12s. Um, I was going to put the 32s in here. But the 32s are actually going to stay inside the MCK along with the 50 round drum. So... That's pretty much how that's going to look. And then let me show you the other one. This is a 17, which turns into a 20. And, you know, you also got the, the laser. So when you grip it, turn it on. Boom. And I can make it dark real quick just so you can see what we looking like. Not real dark, but you get the idea. Right. So, you know, that's all clear. Um, as far as price with these, I feel like they're a little bit, I feel like these are a little bit overpriced. Now, when we talking prices for these, just the back plate, just the back plate alone, they charge the $16, $17. I think it's $16 for uh, this one and then $17 for that one. And I just felt like, yo, this is overpriced. I do like the finishing. I do like the quality. I do like the look of it. Um... You know, compared to what I would normally be wearing, uh, rocking, wearing, you know, but this is an all metal mag. This one, I mean, this is metal, but it, it just feels, feels a little plastic there. This just feels like a better, a better build quality. You know, this is factory, but you know how it is when it's aftermarket. I just felt like these were just overpriced, but it is what it is. I'm still going to keep them. They're just going to go into this gun right here. Let me turn that laser off. So say that battery. So that's pretty much how that's gonna rock. I say, you know what? I'll just keep one in here. Boom. And then that's the backup joint right there. And that'd probably be the house defense, you know, rocking like that. And then you got your, your everyday. And then you got your MCK. So um, that's Galloway Precision. Um, if you don't want to do the 32, but you feel like you want some a little extra for some of y'all who live in those, um, them neighborhoods, you know what I'm saying? Or if you just want to rock one, that's cool too. You just want a 20 round one for one. Not bad. The 17 round magazine is a little bit hard to get, but you can find it. Uh, you can look on Taurus. Um, their website you can try I don't know if Lakeline carries it you can also go on the I think it's called the the gun mag warehouse I'm always on there when they doing deals and stuff I know they be having magazines too for tourists you can try Lakeline LLC but I'm not too sure so you know that's pretty much what it is um, I've seen these a lot on the on the rocking on the G3 C's like me I was going to rock one I still may you know but at my size with my new uh naked holster once again go check them out um it just wasn't it didn't feel comfortable to me this all this right here just on my on my stomach you know i'm a, I'm a big guy man ain't gonna lie about it i got a belly so on my belly on my skin i was feeling these corners whereas 
I wasn't feeling this. This is a lot smoother. It's a lot sleeker, and it slid right in with the pistol. This part's hanging out, so I'm feeling that. Um, I haven't found, like, these covers and stuff. They were having a problem uh, fitting on. The, you know, matter of fact, let me see. Let me try one just so I can show you what I mean. Okay, so for this one, it works. You know, boom. That one, it works. No problem. But I think when I was doing, I think when I was doing this one, let me see, was it, let me see if this is the one that was giving me the problems. And it might, it might have just been this actual uh, little sleeve. Let me try something real quick for y'all. Let me see. Right, okay, so, yeah, see with this sleeve, it's not, it's not working. You know what I'm saying? That sleeve is not working. So let me try a different sleeve. Okay, different sleeve. Yeah. So even for this sleeve, this sleeve ain't working. Now this is... Zoom in. Come on, focus, baby. So I can show you guys. That's the 15 round. So for the 15 round, I don't have a sleeve that's working for it. But... For my um, for my 17 round, I'm not having a problem. Yeah, it's not working either, even on this one. So like I said, this may have been a bad cut because it's not it's not allowing the magazine to go all the way in. This one, that one right there. But for this one, yeah, see that one works. That's not a problem. Yeah, see, that one works. But at the same time, it looked kind of goofy. I don't really like how it looks, personally. It just looked weird. Yeah, so i just rather it, it just have that little gap look to it. <laughs> that just looks a lot better to me. i rather just have the little gap look, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much what I'm dealing with. Um, this one's just not going to fly. And like I said, I got I got this one too. Uh, but this one works. It just don't look right. I got the small joint. But the small joint don't serve no justice on either one of them because it's just small. So it's still like a little lip. But it is what it is. I'm just going to, you know, use these two for this firearm and do something different for the other one. So that's Galloway Precision. Like I said, I wasn't really feeling the price. But if you want to do a stock mag, but you want just a, a few more rounds, it is the way to go. You know, because everybody's not feeling that 32 magazine. Pro mag, I get it. It's a little here and there. We all having our issues. Me personally, I didn't have no issues. Um, I always know to work the spring in all my stuff because I know when it's new, it gets stiff. It can cause a failure to feed. So, you know, it is what it is. Everybody else, I really can't speak for. You know, but at the same time, we know or we should know that you shouldn't rely on a drum or or as I call them sticks um, what I mean is extendos as your daily driver or your house defense you should want to rock something stock like these and just use those for fun at the range those are range uh, magazines that's what I call them you know so you ain't got to reload you just keep shooting having fun but stuff like this this is most this is what you want to use in the home or you want to carry every day because it's a factory mag it's known to work that's what it was it's was, it was built for these extensions just allow you to add a few more rounds or rounds to your capacity so being a 15 plus 3 being a 17 plus 3 or plus 5 you know like that so this is another video man uh, apologize if I drag it out too long I just try to um, hit a lot of points that I think that's important for you all I'll be back with more content. Y'all stay safe and stay blessed. See you.